What's going on YouTube? Alright yo, today I make some breakfast. So bring in the kitchen with me. So you can make this breakfast. Make some vegan egg water. Some people, you know, kinda start asking me yo, what that? How you make that? But before going further, like, comment, subscribe, make a jump into the kitchen and get started. Boom. Alright, yo, so listen. We're gonna run you guys through this breakfast real quick. Um, I made this the other day, post on my Instagram, y'all can go follow my Instagram. So I made some um, tofu, but it looks like egg. So a lot of people are asking me like, yo, what is that? You know what I mean? So I figured I'd just make a video on it. Um, pretty much just showing you guys what I put in it, how I make it, and all that type of good stuff. So first, of course, you're gonna need your tofu, and you're gonna need your seasoning. So we got, we got some um, paprika, we got some jerk seasoning, and we got salt. And of course, how you make it look like egg is this, the curry. So I'm gonna show you guys. All right, we're gonna put some oil. You don't want to put too much, but that's what you need. So what I do personally, I get a plate and crush the tofu out in it and season it in that plate. And always wash your tofu. Wash your tofu. And then none of y'all pussy coming on me. Yeah, none of y'all pussy ass coming on me here and talk about why you just don't eat eggs since you want to make something that look like eggs. Y'all go suck a dick, bro. Straight up. Don't be coming on here hating on my shit, man. All right. So when you crush it, this is gonna look like. It. Can y'all see it? Boom. Then. I'm going to put some curry powder in it, not too much. This one is a spicy one, so you don't want to put too much in it, bro. I got some chicken seasoning, right? It's not, yeah, it's Jamaican chicken seasoning, all right? Don't mind your business. Then, I'm going to put some jerk seasoning, some paprika, like it so we're not gonna put too much. Then some salt. Gonna like stir that up. And y'all better not be laughing at my bonnet. All right. At least I got one. Next secret: if you don't want the curry to hurt your stomach, this is what I've heard by my mom. Before you put anything in it, sprinkle a little bit of that curry in the pot so the curry burn. I don't. I don't know why they just always say that. Bro. I'm just following old heads at this point. Boom. Then, add your tofu, bro. I mean, I can give you a little. It's time, but I ain't no chef. I ain't no chef. I ain't no chef. And sometimes you gotta add a little bit more oil to it so that tofu is gonna suck up all that oil. And I recommend y'all using like avocado oil or like olive oil. So now we're gonna add some spinach. I'm a love spinach, isn't it? That's how I make the heat. Now we can stir this down as low as possible. When you add greens to anything, you just make it look beautiful. Look at that. Pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I got some bagels here, and I'm gonna put these right here, boom. Cause you can't have the, the breakfast without these bagels. What you say? Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, steer master. It's called a steer master, sir. Y'all probably wondering, why is he doing this tomato? These tomatoes go on the bagel, bro. That's how the breakfast is gonna look. Stupid, stupid nice. Just relax and watch. Yeah. Say what's up, nigga. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right. So to make this breakfast 100% tasteful, I never eat anything without avocado, except 
Nah, that's not. Nah, you ain't got it. Yeah. You gotta shake this up. You don't want water to come out. A little bit of ketchup on top. Whew. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go crush this, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hope y'all like it. This is what it looks like. Look like a five star restaurant, you know? Not today, man. All right, yo, we at 36. Bro, let me turn this shit down. All right, yo, we at Fitness Junkie. We're about to go get a, a back workout in. And of course, we're gonna put some biceps and possibly, not possibly, we're gonna do abs. But yo, I wanna tell y'all something, bro. Like, there's something I've been thinking about lately, yo. And I think I need to, like, like tell you guys what's on my mind, yo. So I've been realizing, bro, like a lot of people that I'm, like I'm doing the same thing, like the same content, ideas, whatever. Like when I just started, that shit used to like bother me. Like, why are you not like on the same level? You know what I mean? And I'm working as hard. I'm doing as much. And a lot of people have like different friends that can repost their stuff or people shouting them out or, you know what I mean? Like interactions and stuff. And I've been thinking to myself, like, you can't compare yourself to people because sometimes God is putting things in play for you. So when the right time comes, you know how to deal with it. And I've been saying this shit for the longest, yo. And I've been like, yo, I'm really not going to rush it or worry about it. Yeah, I want it to work because I have like a lot of stuff lined up in, ter in terms of like ideas and like business plan that I want to focus on. And I was like, yo, I like working out. And honestly, bro, sometimes I don't like making content because not every day you want to take up a camera and anybody tell you that they love making content every day they're telling a fucking lie because this thing come with a whole bunch of headaches so i love making content because i love working out so if i'm working out and i'm making the content so you guys can see it i'm happy with that you know what i mean so sometimes you gotta like just focus on yourself focus on your mental health focus on your physical health just the same your happiness so you can produce great content you know what i mean now, some people might say my content is boring. I don't express my goofy side. Somebody said that to me last night. So I'm like, yo, I ain't really got time to work out and show people my goofy side because I really don't have anybody around me to vibe with. And when I do have people to vibe with, I don't really make the content. I'll just be enjoying the moment, right? Because I'm not really a picture person, video person. Like sometimes when I'm having fun, I'm just trying to enjoy the moment instead of capturing the moment. You know what I mean? So y'all just got to like stay focused, yo, and just like tell yourself like, bro, if something is working for that person on the left and that person on the right and it's not working for you in the middle it's just not god timing bro so leave it let god direct you how he wants to direct you and don't try to force god's hand because when you force god's hand you end up with something that you don't want and i've experienced that before so take your time and just work for what you want and stay focused all right so let's go in here get this workout done hope that help y'all give you guys a little motivation to stay focused and never give up stay relentless on your goals and your dreams stay relentless on whatever you're doing and stay focused bro i'll see you guys when we get in you know what i realized bro i never told you guys like i've never showed you guys that i warm up before my workouts but you guys understand you gotta warm up the muscles before you fuck it up so yeah but we're gonna start off with some red up movement yo this ball here it's because I'm short so this ball is not for so tall people so yeah I'm 5'11 okay and pretty much I just want to get a better stretch and a better pull okay you know what I mean you got to roll to grow
Semasa so, kau I don't know dapat album pada CM dia Alright, now I'm going to tell you the truth I'm not going to say one of a better album But the both album of different flows So personally, I feel like I feel like Masika album I feel like Masika album Is more of a You know, like a chill type of album You know? Like a vibe type of album Well, I don't know album is like a Different flow from different songs You get me? Don't get me wrong, Masika have a few flows but Not as much as I don't know but I give, I give two albums them a 9.5. Like honestly, you see me? Make we get some rules. We have a belt. Make sure so we see it. Limelight, limelight. But they sang for a Masuka album to me, a carbon. Uh, wow, sound good too. You see me? I like rainfall. And um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do some chest supported rows. This is gonna be the final exercise for today, for back day. So if y'all make it this far throughout the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. We just here trying to put in the work, get the results. And let me be honest with y'all, man. I haven't been very, I haven't been very strict on my diet. There's been a lot going on lately, but I've been consistent with coming in, working out. Um, I try, and, I try my best to not overeat. And when you under eat, that's not even good either, to be honest. But the good thing is we show up, we do the work, and we don't make any excuses. Rain, sunshine, snow, storm. Well, if it's storm, I'm staying the fuck inside. And if it's too much snow, I'm staying the fuck in. But you get the point, you get me? So stay consistent with whatever you do, yo. You know what I mean? The, like the shit you see people doing, the shit you sitting down at, how, at your house, your job, whatever, on your break time watching, saying like, yo, you wish you could do it. I'm telling you, y'all can do this thing just the same, yo. It, it just take consistency, hard work, and telling yourself, you know what I mean, that you can do it. That's all it takes. Just telling yourself you can do it. Don't let nobody put you down. Don't let no comment, no negative comment put you down. And I tell people this all the time, yo. I ain't no influencer, dog. Like, I just love working out. I love doing what I do. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, young entrepreneur, but I'm still doing my thing. I'm still learning a lot. And I, t I be telling people all the time, bro, I have no fucking shame in telling you go fuck off or telling you to go suck your mother straight. All right? So y'all don't come with your negativity and think like, well, I won't feed into it, but I'm going to just tell you go fuck off, like straight. But let's go, yo. Let's get this workout done and call it a day. had a great workout so I got one more thing I need to do I need to go change this nose ring out because I don't really I don't really know what's going on yo but I really got to change this shit out um, and there ain't nothing wrong with it I just think I want to take it out put like a little you know what I mean one of those hoops or loops or the fuck you want to call it but yeah so 
Let's go. I'm gonna see if Revolution is open because that's where I got this one. And um, Duel was pretty cool, so I'm gonna go back there. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys when we get there. We just went into Revolution, however. I live like a prince in a however, they think I should wait until the 11 to change it out. And however, they don't have any real gold um, nose rings. So I might have to go to like a jeweler, see if we could get that done so we could get this shit out and put the, the little loop in it. The one they have is cool, but you don't want to put nothing fake in your nose, bro, especially when it's freshly pierced. And I think by 11, it should be fully healed, according to him. Like I said, really cool guy. That's why I came back down here to see him, make sure he gave me his best advice on it. So I'm gonna have to go find me a jeweler now, but not today, fuck that. And have them like change it out and the whole nine yard. So, all right, man, we tried changing it out, but it, that's for another day. So hope y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.